welcome to DIY Bee and Butterfly Puddler. Here's a list of what you'll need to get started. A Bee and Butterfly Puddler is simply a water dish for drinking and for bathing for our little pollinator friends. To get started, bring out your paintbrushes and paints and your clay pot. You could either simply dip and add all sorts of colors of paint. There's really no rules. It's whatever you like to make and whatever you think will look beautiful outside in your garden for your bees and butterflies. You can also create beautiful pictures on your clay pot. By using a pencil, you can draw. And if you like, you could even fill it in with the beautiful paints. Remember to turn your clay pot this direction. We're going to be working with our clay pot upside down, but you'll see why in a minute. I'm painting an orange butterfly because I saw a beautiful orange butterfly called a monarch butterfly on my butterfly bush just the other day. It was so bright and beautiful. I thought it'd be great to paint a picture of it. Here is my visitor on the butterfly bush. I see a lot of monarchs because right now they're coming to visit the milkweed. Milkweed is in full bloom standing very, very tall. It's the only plant that the monarch butterfly caterpillars will eat. We'll have a look at that when we go and visit the garden and put out the butterfly puddler. But it's not just the butterflies that need the puddler, the bees need it too. On really hot days, the bumblebees can get really, really thirsty and they need a drink of water. Sometimes you'll see them go down to the puddles and have a drink, but if it hasn't rained, they're not going to have a way to drink. So having a bee and butterfly puddler is really helpful to help cool down our little bumblebee friends. Our pollinator friends such as bees and butterflies help us out so very, very much. If it wasn't for them bringing pollen from one plant to another, we wouldn't have fresh fruits and vegetables to eat. So to show them that we are so thankful, making a bee and butterfly puddler is a great way. I'm almost finished my monarch butterfly. Think it looks great. I'm going to add some black spots to him, just little touches and maybe some grass at the bottom. I wonder what you're going to add to your special butterfly bee puddler. Will you paint a butterfly, a bumblebee, or will you make something all your own? Or will you just mix up all the colors and see what happens? I wonder. Now for the last part is to add our saucer. The saucer is the most important. We can't paint on the middle, but we can paint along the edges if you like. When we're all done painting, it's time to add the saucer to the top of the pot. Turn your pot over and place the saucer on top. It'll look like a mini bird bath, just like this. Then we're ready to bring it outside when it's all dry. Now we're in the garden and here's the common milkweed. There's no butterflies or caterpillars yet, but they've been here. Do you wanna see how I know that they've been here? We're gonna have to take a really close look at a milkweed leaf. Do you see what I see? What do you notice about this leaf? Munch, munch, munch. Yes, someone has been taking big bites of the milkweed. Then there's little holes too. If you ever visit gardens, you might find beautiful butterfly bushes like this. Butterfly bushes attract butterflies, such as this beautiful Eastern Swallowtail, one of my favorites. It's a really hot day today. So let's look for some stones before we set up our puddler. You will need a variety of stones that are small, medium, and large. This will be a landing spot for the butterflies and the bees. They'll rest on the rocks and have little drinks and cool down. The setup should look something just like this. Always keep your puddler low to the ground. That's where they'll have a drink. And then when you're ready, add in just a cup of water. Now we're all done 
And now we wait to see the bees and butterflies and give thanks.